The Vlogmas Day 10, what do you think? Hmm? What do you think about Vlogmas Day 10? <laughs> Is that all you think? Put your little head in here. <clears throat> That's more like it. Vlogmas day 10. <laughs> Let's get it. What up? Looking fly. I know. Just got done editing the vlog for today and now just kind of doing some tidying up because I haven't done that in weeks. Of course, we're watching a very Christmassy story of The Office because I don't watch anything but the office. It is snowing this morning. It's fl fluffy goodness coming down from the sky. Super pretty. Super pretty. You want to see something funny. Oscar! You want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? <gasps> Come on, let's go outside. Come on. What? Is it cold outside? He hates the snow. He'll eventually start to growl. Pearl, are you, do you want to check it out? Are you going to stay inside? Are you coming back? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Go that way. Go that way. What is up? I am back again, looking fab. I'm hanging out with some of my new friends. Do you want to see? This is Chops. Hi, baby. Hi, handsome. And then this is Ozzy. Ozzy the cat, who um, could definitely give Oscar a run for his money with being naughty. <laughs> Currently, um, house sitting, which is kind of cool, and the best part about it is, I think right now we're gonna go take a bath. This is gonna be one of the best baths ever, and the best part is they never use it. Um, Bobby's cousin was like, "Yeah, go for it. We never use it. Oh, never use it." A tub of dreams, can I tell you right there. I bring some Lush products with me. I brought my, my Christmas bath bomb. That smells Ugh, so good. And I also brought a bubble bar with me. It's called Christmas Eve. Oh my god. Mm. I think I got the Christmas Eve one. Or maybe it's a sleep one, regardless. I'm really excited to try. It's been one of those days and I made some cookies. Salted caramel chocolate chip. Get on my level. And I just thought it would be kind of cool to do this idea. So let's let's come over here and chill. We're just gonna act like the fact that I don't have makeup on was planned. Today has not been that exciting of a day. It's been very chill, which is exactly the day that I needed. And I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw that somebody posted their top nine, nine Instagrams that you posted, like the most liked. And I found out what my top nine are. You know what? I'm just gonna put the top nine like literally right here. And so it was like the time I met Luke Bryan, number one, as it should be. Um, me running the Boilermaker, my sister's 3030. Meeting Zach Brown Band, you know, it's just like a lot of fun. And then I thought, you know what would be a lot of fun <laughs> is doing a what I learned from Instagram from 2017. We're gonna go back on my Instagram here. I think I had like 116 posts this year. It all started on January 1st with this one that says, imagine if you could watch a trailer for your 2017. And boy, if I could watch a trailer for it, that would be pretty. Oscar's here. <laughs> then one of my most liked photos was this picture um, of me and Jordan. And this picture, <laughs> we learned a lot that day. And um, it's, it's have fun. And um, we learned a lot that day. The lake wasn't cooperating 
recuperating. I spelled that wrong tonight. For the Ice Bowl this year, we didn't care. Uh, this is like my first boomerang I posted. Like, this was like the beginning of boomerang for me. And so that January 31st was the day I announced that I looked like Benjamin Franklin back in the sixth grade. That was a good one. That's a really classic. The time I, <laughs> I met all for one, and then maybe a half hour later, I tripped running backstage. Hit, I hit something. I went full on forward. Camera went underneath speakers, face first into the speaker, and all for one was there watching. That's, that's a fun memory I'll never forget. T-shirt time. This is one of like the first, this is probably the second hockey game I had to do and um, this is me faking, faking confidence as I'm about to go on, onto the ice. I always get terrified that I'm gonna fall on the ice. I always get really worried about that. We were supposed to paint a beach scene. Oops, I blame the alcohol. This was the first painting with a twist experience I did with uh, Bobby and neither one of us followed the directions. <laughs> this is one of my most liked Instagrams, this is another boomerang, and this is fanny pack life. I like, when I wear a fanny pack, I like to twerk to make it look like my booty's going. Usually I like to wear a flannel around my waist. And this was a big hit. Everybody seemed to really thoroughly enjoy that on, uh, on St. Patrick's Day this, this year. April 2nd was the year I finally won a competition against me and my sister and our friends. And it was the egg decorating competition. I did the 12 months of a year, eggs dying. And I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed and I still have that trophy and I'm ready to take the trophy again next year. Bonomo's celebrating 55 years, so it was freezing that day and me and my sister still went. And um, I don't think there's a bad time to ever eat ice cream. I'm just, just saying. One of the most important things you need to do, stop saying yes to shit you hate. This should be your life motto, well my life motto, because. I gotta start learning to say no. I created Utica at the Mayor's Ball and I learned that I'm not good at doing updos, but I did learn that it was still a fantastic night. So, okay, let's talk about this picture of my cousin Georgian holding my not so nephew, my fake nephew, James Michael. Um, he is crying up a storm. He is not happy. This was his baptism and he, I learned that day that when babies want to cry, they're going to cry to Saranac. It is the first Saranac, May 19th. Probably one of the few ones I went to and like went out and enjoyed myself. That was a good night. I just learned how much I, I do enjoy a good Saranac Thursday. My hobbies include peer pressuring my friends to drink more after they're already lit AF. I learned May 27th that I'm a bad peer pressurer and um, I, <laughs> I got Lauren to twerk, which I didn't know was a thing that could possibly happen. Easily one of the best nights ever. Easily. June 12th, I was at Taste of Country and it was the best year of Taste of Country yet. There was no drama this year. It was all so chill and I got to talk to Maren Morris, Kit Moore, Ray Lynn, and by talk to I mean awkwardly say hi as they like walked really fast by me, but hey, it, it still technically counts, no? Here's that time me and my BFF met Zach Brown Band and I learned that every time I think I'm prepared for a meet and greet, I'm never prepared for a meet and greet. We almost missed it, my cousin almost missed it. And it turned out to be the most epic picture and one of my most liked Instagrams, so I'm happy it went over well. But yeah, that Zach Brown Band meet and greet almost didn't happen. The people I met with Go The Distance and the Mohawk Valley Hill Striders were probably some of my favorite people I've met this entire year and uh, they're so supportive and I'm sorry I stopped running I'll come back when like it's not dark outside anymore but uh, this was when this was that day or it was like the final run I can't remember but I did learn that I was stronger than I thought I was and that I still hate running this is one of my most liked pictures it's me and my big flamingo tube that I bought and I got it at Aldi's $15 and it got me one of my most liked Instagram posts of the year. So what I learned from that is anything is possible when you shop at Aldi's, can I tell you? They've got a lot of awesome stuff. This is <laughs> when you embarrass him by having a mini photo shoot during cocktail hour. So he was, Bobby was in a wedding and he looked good, so I made him like do a little photo shoot and he kept getting mad at me because I kept positioning him in different places, but the pictures turned out really good and I know he thinks so too because he hasn't said anything to me about taking it down. This is my Go The Distance team. Funny story about this photo is 
<laughs> I actually had to Photoshop everybody into this picture because we, the, we didn't all get a picture at the end in our jerseys. Yeah, this is all Photoshopped in. Some of them are obvious, some of them not so much. So I heard of this picture on August 9th as well of because it was our company skip day and me and Alex were playing beer pong and I actually got the opportunity to teach my boss how to play beer pong. That was a cool experience, can I tell you? And on August 12th, I went and got my hair did, even though I never brush it, it, it is what it is. But um, yeah, my friend Alana, if you uh, don't get your hair done by her, you should, because she does fantastic work. I met Brett Eldridge, and I just, ugh, he's, uh, but my most liked picture from August 17th goes to Mr. Luke Bryan. Thank you, sir, for making me look cooler than I actually am. The smile on my face I don't think could get any bigger. September 5th, I received my picture from meeting Thomas Rhett. And I was an, oh my God, I just love him. Fantastic. So I couldn't, I, we, uh, t her birthday's not till October, but I just couldn't wait any longer before I could post the pictures. So we literally posted the pictures September 11th. Her birthday is October 23rd. <laughs> On September 24th, I took a hike. And I realized that I don't like hiking. October 11th, What the Truck finally ended. What the Truck went on for what I feel like was forever, but this epic picture of the canal with What the Truck happening, I mean, it was a fantastic season. I absolutely loved it. And I miss the food truck food now, looking back. October 29th, I was a burrito. I, what is this is? I'm like signing up for 5Ks all over the place. And we did the ugly sweater run. And the thing is, I didn't actually run that one. I learned that a double ear infection makes it very hard to do so. James Michael turned one, and we went to his birthday party, and I found out that he still really doesn't like me, but I, he will find out that I am the cool aunt eventually, so I'll just hold off until he starts to realize it. But for now, he can sit there and eat his cupcake, and I won't say nothing. Three days ago, I became the coolest person I've ever met through Instagram, through this picture, and my God, do I feel so cool in it. And Cassidy and Brandon C coached me through it, so that was that was good. So yeah, that's, that's kind of um, going through what this year on Instagram have t has taught me for 2017. My top nine photos, pretty clutch, not gonna lie. So because I don't really have anything else planned for the rest of today, I think this is where the vlog is going to end. Um, tomorrow we will be back to stuff in the bus, back to work, and back to more exciting vlogs stuff. But hopefully you enjoyed a little bit of a throwback going back in the day. And, uh, yeah. Go follow me on Instagram if you don't. Dat listen, it's Liz.